Hello there and welcome to Coley's Garden. Today is the 9th of October. It's a beautiful fresh autumn stay here in the northeast of Ireland. Today we're in the patio garden. As you can see here we have lots of raised garden beds. In the centre here we have two triangle raised garden beds with lots of perennials, shrubs and trees. In particular today we're going to talk about how to divide your blue fastusia grass. Early spring and early autumn are the best times to divide your plants. And the benefits of dividing your plants is it will allow you to control the size of the plant, allow for new growth and to multiply your plants in the garden. So as you can see here, we have two different sized blue fastusia grass. I did divide this plant last year and that really benefited this plant. So this blue fastusia grass is the one we're going to be working with today. Okay, so we're going to be using our fork in order to not break up the roots too much. So just wiggle and jiggle your plant around a little bit until you loosen up the roots. And there you have it. Okay, so with our sharp knife, we're going to divide the plant straight into the center and create two plants for free. So just find the center part of the blue fastusia grass. and just cut. Now just spread your two plants apart. And it doesn't matter if one has a little bit more um, roots on it. So as you can see here, we managed to get two clumps of blue fastusia grass. So now I'm going to put this one back into its original spot and then I will show you what I'm going to do with the other one next. Okay, so I'm just going to loosen up the soil a little bit. So this is a mixture of native soil, compost and bark. So the soil here is extremely rich for blue fuchsia grass and it's in a sunny location but we do get um, a good bit of shade as well throughout the year just remove any loose rocks that may be in here and then just pop it back in Then just use your hand and backfill it with the soil. Just going to use the fork again. So there we have it. So it's almost like it wasn't touched at all, but I really benefited this plant by doing that. Okay, so now let's find a new spot for a blue fastusia grass. Okay, so we're over here in the rock raised garden beds and we're going to remove this stump. This was just placed here for decoration. And this will be the finest spot for the blue fuchsia grass. 
So in here, again, we have the same soil, native soil, compost and bark. So the plant will do really well in here. So I'm just going to loosen up the soil a bit. So we also deal with heavy clay in certain parts of our land. So a lot of the times we do have to make amendments to our soil. The soil is really rich because we made those amendments. We do have a lot of rocks on the land. So you want to make sure the hole is at least twice the size of the plant. So I'm just breaking up any weeds that may have been growing in here. There we have it. Just going to remove some of these weeds. So I don't need to water this area because we did have a good bit of rain the last couple of days. So now I'm just going to backfill this area with the soil. Just remove any weeds along the way. Just going to use the fork. And there we have it, another free blue fasciusia grass for this new rock raised garden bed. So that plant's going to do really well in here. Got lots of mixed perennials, shrubs and trees in here. Now I'm just going to show you the other blue fasciusia grass that I was able to divide a couple of years ago. So here we have it. It's still quite small, but it does take time for it to grow, but it's very, very happy here. So that's how easy it is to divide your plants. Thanks very much for watching and God bless.